This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the effect of increasing temperature on the rate constant K. The Arrhenius equation can be used to show the effect of increasing the temperature on the rate constant K and therefore the rate of a reaction. Here we have a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve for two gases at 300 K and 310 K. The area in blue represents the number of particles with energy greater than activation energy at 300 K. The shaded area shows the number of particles with energy greater than activation energy at 310 K. As you can see at the higher temperature, a greater proportion of molecules have energy greater than the activation energy. This explains why increasing the temperature increases the rate of a reaction. For most reactions, an increase in temperature of 10 K doubles the rate of reaction. In the Arrhenius equation, this part of the equation is the fraction of molecules which have energy equal to or greater than activation energy at a particular temperature. So in other words, this part of the equation is the fraction of the molecules that have enough energy to react. The Arrhenius constant or frequency factor A is approximately constant for such a small increase in temperature. Next we look at the effect of increasing the temperature by 10 Kelvin. In both these examples we're assuming an activation energy of 50,000 joules per mole. In the example on the left we have a temperature of 293 Kelvin. In the example on the right we have a temperature of 303 Kelvin. When we calculate E raised to these powers we get these values here. So as we can see from these two values that we've calculated, an increase in temperature of 10 Kelvin doubles the fraction of molecules that have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. Assuming that A stays constant for a small increase in temperature, if we calculate K, the value of K at higher temperature will be greater. So to summarize, an increase in temperature increases the value of the rate constant K and therefore increases the rate of reaction.